Hello guys, welcome to a new episode of VLSI projects and this video is very special because from today's video we are gonna start the layout design and in this video we will take mostly two things actually first we will have a get a overview of our magic magic is our layout tool which we will explore today and then we will see also the PDK layers text what is PDK? probably you are forgetting because this video is coming after a while so please revise the previous video we need to have the PDK uh, then only we will get the design rule so I will also explain what are the layers text if time permits but before that we will visit our magical tool and which is called the magic and if you are following me then you know that i love to work with in terminal i'll write xterm and person and xterm is there and uh, from uh, if you follow me from first video then in that video i have already explained how to install magic so here i am not explaining you how to install i have already magic installed so to run your magic you it is simple just write magic and magic will happen and see okay you are not seeing it because i have another screen in my second screen it is popping up and this this is here okay so we have two window mostly uh like anytime you open your magic you will have the two window what's the significance of the significance of this two window and uh, actually that's why i love magic not any other tool and that is they magic is mostly resemble to the commercial tool any commercial layout tool for example cadence virtue so so that's why if you start working on this then anytime you gonna shift to cadence you can easily do it cadence virtue so uh, layout tool so the this view window is your where you will draw your polygons your lines your routings your levels everything all the physical design all the layout will go there and this window is actually the magical window uh, it will help you to do magic in the magic and that is you can have many commands are already defined there i'll i'll tell you from where you get those command you can get those command from magic tutorial sheet i'll i'll tell you but also here we do something and that is we can write some script write some automation script uh, we will just run it here and you will see some magic here like layout will get changed layout will get optimized or some new layout will get generated right and for this for this tool magic we actually follow the tickle so if you know tickle then you can write those automation then you can write those automation and you don't need to do anything manually but as a beginner you need to do things manually why because you are an engineer you are not a technician uh, all respect to them but still so the difference lies here see anytime something broke down right for example from day one only you started working with automation tools automation like script or those things you, you have done no manual layout then what will happen anytime something broke down in your script then you can't fix it you will be same as a technician only click the button something will come uh, click another button something will go but you don't know the inside what is happening there and to know what is happening there and for what actually your employer will pay you more than a technician and that is you need to know the behind the scene of the script so that's why i strongly recommend anyone who start in their layout journey then that don't go for automation flow like rtl to gds flow for sure you need to know the rtl to gds flow but before that for one year for six months you should do your manual layout and that's what i am trying to achieve here and i'll let you help to do the manual layout and then if time permit i will show you how to do the automation because I am ex not expert but yeah I am doing it for two years in industry those things only some manual edits some automation and those things so yeah those are very interesting but for that you need to keep on like uh, you need to go along with me so here what I will do I will close this magic and for closing we have two command actually exit and another it's closed other is quit use quit it is better uh, better for like it will just remove all all the temporary file everything so you can start fresh in the next time so now what i'm gonna do see uh, i'm opening my magic because i want to draw my layout 
and to draw my layout i need to have some rule somebody need to define me drc rule so you will say hey it's good now nah, there is no rule we can do anything you can do anything you can draw anything you can make your layout but anytime you wanna send that layout for the fabrication to foundry they will just send it to the trash the dustbin because they will say hey we can't fabricate it you need to follow our rule it's our rule or there is no way <laughs> no it's not like that actually they they have done a lot of work to de define the rule because only following those rules only they the instrument which they have uh, are capable of designing so that's why getting the rules are very important and for that your magic need to integrate with our sky 130 the pdk right so for that there, there is a command I, I will just write it down in my description so don't worry and the command is this so you can see i am i am again invoking magic with the rc file rc file actually will help me to connect uh, with pdk uh, if you remember x scheme when we started our x scheme there also we had a rc file but that time we just copied the rc file uh, in, inside the folder we don't need to give any uh, path like that but here i am trying to define to when that is giving a path and here most of you might get a error and the error you might face and that is that hey this is a path right so this file need to be inside that path if it is not there you will get a error so to don't get a error what you can do first and that is just copy the path okay and come here and do ls and the path after you click and uh, oh i am getting an error okay uh, yeah, you will get similar kind of error if the file is not in that path. Okay, I have it. I don't know why it's coming. Let me see. Yeah, actually I'm missing a slash here, forward slash here. So let me correct it. Uh -uh, not here. Yeah, so if you have it, you will have it like this. If you don't have it, then what you need to do, see here, th this path, up to this path here, user local share pdk sometimes what happen you will have your pdk folder just inside your local like user local and pdk sometimes happen but if you are following me uh, how i have installed and you have replicated exactly how the steps i have done then for sure your rc file will be in this path only but it's your duty to find out your rc file folder where it is so i'm assuming that you know where your rc file is or it is in the same folder if it is in the same then it's great you don't need to do anything extra just go it and don't e click enter before that uh, after that what you do just press a and person very important because if you don't insert this and an person here right this and person here then everything will be fine no issue but anytime you accidentally press ctrl c all everything will go if you haven't saved it your layout also go so that's why uh, always uh, for any tool evoking any tool use and person key okay. and magic is up in my other screen this is one window and this is another window so now if you just try to find a differentiation between the previous magic uh, launch and this and that is here see in technology i already have the sky 130a so my pdk got integrated if you can see this then perfect the first step is done we are ready to do the layout designing also we have here palette section right palette section means the layers we have different type of layers and to differentiate among those layers we have di some different color yeah, that's why one bad thing in magic and that is you just need to follow here this part okay anytime i'm hovering here it is giving me name like n base p well and those things uh, policy you can write that but but for example you want to need metal one then you don't know where is metal one you just need to hover here and you need to know the name where it is and it is a little bit tricky and that's the difference between a commercial software and a free tool software but we have the way around actually you don't need to hover it like this but today we'll do some uh, hard work first and then I i'll tell you today only i'll tell you uh, what's the way around actually easy part okay so that's one one thing now see what is happening here for designing a layout now for example i am i have no scale here i don't know if i do from here to here what's the scale here like what's this rectangle what's the dimension of this rectangle and dimension is very important because if you remember our schematic part when we were doing pre-layout analysis that time we have designed our nmos pmos nmos was of 150 nanometer 
length and width was of 1 micron. So that means anytime we draw our layout here, it, we should follow their dimensions. So that's why scale is very important. And to get your scale, the simple command and that is in your keyboard G4 Guwahati. Just click G. You'll get the grid. Right. Again, there is a problem. I don't know what each box imply here. Is it one kilometer or is it one micrometer? I don't know. But at least we have the grid now. But there is an alternative way also. Let me do G again. And that is we come to this small magic window. The magical magic window. And here we'll type grid. And we'll get the grid. But again, I said we don't know what the box implies. So that's why what we'll do, we'll define it here. We'll type grid and we'll say, hey, make it 15 nanometer by 15 nanometer. Why 15 nanometer? Because our, uh, the length of our uh, gate is 150 nanometer. So 50 is a multiple of that. Like if I take three box, I'll get 150 nanometer. So that's why you can take anything, 10 also, but it will be a hard work for you. You know, to find out 15 such box together to make your length of the uh, like polysilicon gate. Okay. Okay. So after that, uh, it is a little bit zoomed in. We need to zoom out. So for zooming out, it shift G and for zoom in, it is control G. Okay. Uh, you can remember this, you can write down this, but there are tutorial sheet, I'll, I'll give you the link, there you will get all those commands, so don't worry. Okay. Now there is another very tricky thing and that is defining your area. Why I need to define my area? Because I need to get my rectangle of something, probably metal one. So that's why I need to define my area. So for defining area, there is a tricky thing, just concentrate, this is my mouse okay i have to click here left click and right click so for the box for any box we have two things actually left corner and the right top corner if i define these two i'll have the box so for left down uh, i need to two click define click actually for left it should be your left mouse click and for right it should be right my mouse click click that is okay there is also one issue if i tell you and that is c uh, if i click here right so it is coming in between this box so i'm not sure for example let me zoom in i'm not sure from here to here how much it is it is little difficult for me to know the dimension probably i have a scale tool i need to scale it so why to make our life complex so to help us avoid this kind of thing that here always start from the beginning of the box we can set our snap snap means just snap it to that box area so for snapping we again come here and we write snap usual it's me and i'm saying here you just snap it to minimum of 15 nanometer don't go minimum than that after clicking it and then you see the magic here uh, shift g see now in between i can click anywhere but it is snap, snapping snipping to snapping to the boxes only so that means anytime i know what's my dimension are so that's why these two commands are very important okay after that what we need to do we need to design a pmos first for the inverter pmos and then nmos right and here you need to know your you need to revise your semiconductor physics and that is for pmos we need to first have a n-type material, right? And this white space here, this whole white space, this is actually your wafer. Now, wafer comes in circular, right? This is your wafer area, this white space. And by default, this white space is of p-type. So if it is p-type, then that means manufacturing a NMOS like drawing NMOS here easy. I can directly draw my end deficient area polysilicon is done. But for NMOS, yeah. But for a PMOS, I need to have n type material as a starting thing. But here it is P. So for that, what do we do? Yes, we do N well. Uh, here is one cost. Um, here is one important thing. If you are in your beginning years of BTEC, it's absolutely perfect. If you don't know this thing, uh, you will have it. Uh, you can learn it on your own and you'll get the things. If you are in your senior year, still if you are not getting this thing, why N well, why F well, um, it's again okay. You have your time, 
first first accept that hey I don't know it and then you have time start learning it okay so I need to first draw a n will here to draw my PMOS so I have defined my box after defining my box I will go here in the spellage section uh, how I will hover around and I'll concentrate here to know like see my P well <coughs> sorry N well and see this is my N well and then here again there is a tricky thing and that is you need to click the middle button of your mouse in laptop you don't have it there are some way, way around but I'll recommend you buy a mouse if you don't have so middle click and after middle click see we have generated our N well right and Congratulations, you, you have started layout designing and this is a very very big thing. Many finished their BTEC without designing <coughs> a single layout. So it's a very big step. Now we are having here some white dots and what those are. Those are your DRC error. Okay. And to know that hey what this DRC error mean to us, we will again go to our command window, this small window and here we will write DRC and then find click and here they are saying say hey, see the annual which you have drawn here it is smaller than 0.84 micrometer or 840 nanometer so we are sorry we can't fabricate it that's the ultimate meaning For what we have drawn actually see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 ja 50 450 so we have drawn for 450 nanometer but their minimum requirement is 840 nanometer and that's why they are saying hey we can't do it so to correct it what i'll do i'll just zoom in first a little bit control z okay control z ah, it's more control z yeah i'll go up for going up up arrow down side okay i'll go here so this area i need to create a and well here I need to increase it so you can't stretch it here I think so probably there are some way but I don't know so what we'll do we will just have another rectangle here so left click right click and then you have two way one way is you go here and click middle you will have your annual generated or another way is just come down because this is the annual area so anyway if you click middle button here it will populate it as an annual and now this is as a whole material it's not like we two parts are there they are separated no this is a whole angle full now this part also we need to make so right click left click and then right click and then middle button so done now see there is no drc here drc is drc drc is zero so drc is clean as far as for anvil till now we are clean for drc if i send this layout file there are different format we send mostly dot gds so if i export it as dot gds if i send it to skywater for sure they will manufacture me annual <laughs> i don't know what we'll do with the annual but for sure we'll get it they won't say anything to us okay after that our next duty is that we need to define a p diffusion area here confused just check your device physics okay so for p diffusion again i will select the area so left click and then right click roughly i am selecting no nothing and again i'll come here i'll find out why is my pdf 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 i am not sure not sure why is my pdf uh, <clears throat> so that's why that's why it is little confusing and i find out this is pdf but should i share you the shortcut okay so what is the shortcut? Shortcut is that just come here, first select the box, come here and then write paint what you want to paint it with, with PDF. Just write it down and voila, we got our PDF version. So <laughs> this is a shortcut. Okay. <clears throat> but now after this shortcut we have again some error and that is this white dot means DRC error and here also you can see we have two DRC error. So we will ask our friend that white please let us know what the drc we have drc find and they are saying hey your annual overlap of p diffusion is less than uh, 180 nanometer 0.18 this statement are sometimes sometimes very clear sometimes they are a little bit of puzzling and for the commercial pdk these things are coming directly from pdk our sky 130 so for commercial pdk like tsmc or other uh, what they used to give us they maximum time they used to give us figures also 
each error they will show us this figure hey like they try to help us to know the error like as easily as possible but for sky 130 probably i don't think we have those opportunity so you only have this statement actually you need to know, see this statement and you need to make out the logic out of it and this is simple here it is saying annual overlap so this is my annual overlap like this is my p diffusion so this area is my overlap so this overlap area must be uh, 180 micrometer or 180 means uh, three box three means 15 means four boxes there should be four boxes so one two three four boxes means uh, yeah our minimum scale is 50 like 0.5 right so we can go up to four boxes and this is the minimum error so we can draw more than that to clean our error so that means i need to extend my annual hand so to extend it i will again select this area this box and middle button and drc guns it drc is zero now okay okay <laughs> I hope you are enjoying this tutorial. If you are, then press the like button. Okay. Now I need to create my polysilicon here. Polysilicon will give me the gate uh, length, a gate, gate, gate area. And if you remember, our gate length of our gate was 150 nanometer. One box is 50 nanometer. So one, uh, like I need three boxes. So I'll just roughly select this, this one and this one. And what I'll do, I won't go here. I'll just write here paint poly silicon and see magic now we have many error uh, for drc so i'll again write drc why okay uh, uh, not why fine now let me tell you something like uh, what happened in industry actually uh, i'm i'm not sure about all but for sure what i have seen and that is what we do we actually first like one step wise we go we design something for example pmos so we design our pmos first without seeing those drc like this interactive drc this is real time drc so we design it probably in tool a and then in tool b we run the flow like drc flow and then we come back and we clean it because sometimes it become very irritating now after every step it is saying here drc is happening but it is very good also um, there would be no complex drc so this way magic is good like for someone it's good for someone is very irritating but i think it's good as a beginner okay so let me write drc fine and they are saying that here your p diffusion diffusion overhang of pmos little puzzling but if you try to decode it it's easy also your p diffusion overhang this is my p diffusion uh, overhang of pmos is less than 0.25 uh, actually from like from DRC highlight only we can understand that hey this is my polysilicon so probably they are saying hey the overhang or the overlap after the polysilicon should be uh, little more than what you have drawn and that is the exact actually they need five boxes five boxes means 250 micrometer that's what only they are showing it here so I will increase it so left right and middle button okay i i got another drc but before the drc i want to clean this drc uh, okay let me clean this is this drc again that one that hey your p diffusion is there your annual is uh, overlap is less so let me increase it yeah let's clean okay this side also i need to this see we have one to four boxes but they need five boxes so i have defined it and five boxes and then i need to increase my annual see so easy now this this drc now two drcs are there so i'll again go to my this window see the, getting to this window it is a little tricky so if you don't have two screen then you can do one thing you make it always visible so right click and make always in top so it is always in top it's already 20 plus minutes i'm talking i thought i'll share two three uh, like two topics at least today but i'm not sure let me try how many I, how much i can go but don't worry i will keep on bringing video very fast if i don't just fill my comment area why is your next video okay okay so i'll again write drc find and they are saying transistor width is less than 0 0.42 okay it's very interesting see uh, <clears throat> What does transistor width means? Transistor width and transistor length are defined by gate area, right? 
So here our gate length is from box we know it's 150 nanometer. What's the width? Width is this vertical uh, uh, scale. Okay. So here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 into 5 means 400 nanometer. But they need it minimum 420 nanometer. Right. So that's the error. So let me first fix it and then let me tell you uh, another issue. Let me fix it first. Okay. It got fixed. Now see, if you just remember our layer, our schematic uh, classes, pre-layout, there our PMOS, the width of our PMOS was 2 micrometer. 2 micrometer means 2000 nanometer. 2000 nanometer in the scale of 50 boxes means how many boxes we need to take? Uh, 20 boxes, I think. 15, 20 or 40, like, yeah, something like that. Just calculate it. So that means we are doing something wrong. We need to have a bigger PMOS than this. And uh, we will do it, but for now, let me show you some other... Uh, other. Uh, <clears throat> so we need to do that. We need to do that correction if we need to fix the LVS. Because in LVS, as a DRC, it is clean, but in LVS, we'll get, uh, it, this thing will catch up here. In LVS, it will show, hey, your weight was that, but in your layout, your weight is this. So your layout is not matching with your schematic. So it's a red flag, please fix it. So we'll fix it there. But before that, till now, what we have done, see, one of these two will be source and drain, two contact and another is your gate, three contact, right? But our PMOS is a four contact device. So fourth contact will come from body, right? And here body is your end well. So you will say, hey, make a contact here. Making a contact here means just a metal connection here, but I know that for sure if I make a contact here, I'll get a DRC here. So what for contact, what I need to do, I need to increase my annual area. So let me do that. And annual area is uh, increased. After annual to create a contact in annual, I need to have N diffusion, right? So I'll create again a box here. And I'll go to, yeah, it's here. And I'll write paint. And diff. so this DRC, I think from the highlight only, we, we can understand that hey, I need to increase my annual area here. Okay, this side also, this side also, or you can find it out. This is your task, you need to fix it. Okay, but now see, we need to create four terminal here. And for creating four terminal, I need to use some metal metal one, two, three, four. Uh, but question is that which metal, metal four or metal three? Uh, somebody will say no metal one we know but if you know what's the exact reason i will tell you we can use any metal here actually but mostly we'll use metal one but here we won't use metal one also we have a special metal and who will tell me that i have a special metal and for that we need to see the layer stack of the pdk layer stack means after yeah it's it's very informative thing actually we need to refer anytime for layout as a layout design engineer, as a physical layout design engineer, your first step is see the layer stack of your PDK. I thought I'll show you today, I'll explain everything today here, but time deficiency, I will do it in your next video. But before that, this is your task. You do it up to this and then in the comment section write, hey, bhaiya, we have done whatever you have done. Please bring the next video. After 10 or 5 to 10 comment I get like this, in next 24 hours I'll bring the next video. But anyway, I'll try to bring a video in next 48 to 72 hours for sure. So you have a lot of time. Do it. And after that, let me motivate you for our VLSI job. Like, see, uh, anytime when you come to VLSI job, right, many people say, hey, we get the salary which is less than a CTC. But I made one interesting video here and where I have talked, can you get the salary or the money more than, than the CTC uh, promised you? So after you do the, your task, see this video, get motivated and comment down after you've done it and I'll see. Until then, keep learning, keep helping and keep smiling. Tata, bye bye.